Relationship with Holy Spirit conquers inner conflict. We read in Galatians chapter 5 where Apostle Paul says that inside of you there's a conflict. There's a flesh. The flesh is like the carnal nature, like the, the, the bad dog. And this Holy Spirit, which is a gift from God, you receive at salvation. A flesh is what you get when you are born physically. Holy Spirit is what you get when you are born spiritually. A flesh is what you get when you are born for the first time. A Holy Spirit is who you have when you are born for the second time. That's why we Christians use this phrase born again. And so because you have the Holy Spirit inside of you and you also have the flesh which is what you got, it's actually the devil's gift on your birthday. Devil gave you a gift when you got born, it's called your flesh. It means it's that thing that's always bent on doing evil. You have it, I have it, all of us have it. But God gives you a gift when you get born again and He gives you something better, a lot better. He gives you not just your conscience, not just your desire to do good. He actually gives a Holy Spirit on the birthday of your second birth. And so you have these two, the flesh and also the Holy Spirit. And because you're born again, this conflict already exists. The only people who don't have this conflict are those who don't have the Holy Spirit. People without Holy Spirit or without salvation, they do not have a conflict. That doesn't mean that everything they do they like. It doesn't mean everything they decide they enjoy. It just simply means that they could do something wrong without a tension. And when they've done it, there is no troubling, sleepless torment and guilt. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is not there to bug their mind. When you are a Christian, when Holy Spirit lives in you, it immediately creates a conflict. But it's not the indwelling of the Holy Spirit that conquers the conflict. It's the indwelling of the Holy Spirit that creates the conflict. But it's the relationship with Holy Spirit that conquers the conflict that His presence creates. Let me repeat that again. Many of us think that the moment I get saved, Holy Spirit becomes the conqueror and He conquers my inner conflict. Not realizing actually the moment you get saved, you create a conflict inside of you that previously you did not have. Because presence of the Holy Spirit immediately, because He's opposing to your flesh, He creates a conflict inside of you. That's why Paul says, he says, the flesh lusts against the Spirit. It means they are on the completely opposite side. Because when you did not have the Holy Spirit, flesh did whatever it want and you suffered as a result. But Holy Spirit's presence creates a conflict. But when you have a relationship with Holy Spirit that lives inside of us, He in return conquers the conflict we have on inside. There was a woman in the Bible who, whose name was Rebecca and Rebecca had two children in her womb. She had twins and she went to God and the Bible says that when she went to God to ask about the two twins, the scripture says that there are two nations in your womb. Two nations in your womb and the Lord gave you a prophecy. He said that the younger will dominate the older. And the Bible says when there was a delivery time happening that both of them were fighting. Who is going to get out first? And it would make sense. And so the, the older, the guy who got out first, his name was Esau. But the guy who got out second, his name was Jacob. And so the interesting part is the one who was born first, they both were in the womb. One was first, one was second, and the one that was second was prophetically supposed to dominate the one that's first. I mean her life, I know, and for those of you who are already lost me right there, but this is a perfect picture of what happens inside of you. You have one that was born first, it's called your flesh. And you have another one that was born second, it's called the Holy Spirit. And there's a constant tension inside. But the prophetic word is this, is if you develop a relationship with Holy Spirit, the younger will dominate the older. It means the bad, the thing that wants to do bad things inside of you, that thing will be on subjection when you receive Jesus that the good part, the Holy Spirit part will dominate the devil part inside of you.